Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to RimWorld. Probably my last episode of the night. It's midnight here. And I have work in the morning. One last cup of tea to wind down. And just watch the colonists and see what the heck they're, they're gonna do today. Slaxer, hopefully you recover and are fine here. Minor infection. So I could have Emmy use that Preach Health on Slacks just to be sure, but I honestly think they're going to be fine. I'm going to save that. Probably try and convert somebody with it. Yoko has a bruise from the beer. From Igor trying to bean her over the head or throwing the beer bottle at her. It's kind of funny. Heat stroke. Yoko's going to have a heat stroke. How bad are you? Like, how close to it are you? Initial? Eh. If they really need to, they can run somewhere cool automatically. To kind of manage their own heat levels. There we go. Haul the poo away. Good thing to do first uh, thing in the morning. Hopefully we'll get the starvation, Shigeru, don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with you, Shigeru. If you're gonna be too damn good for the food. Okay, he did eat some, thankfully. He ate something anyways. Our bed bugs are gonna hatch in seven days. Did we ever get those other eggs delivered? I'm gonna guess those, those spoiled. So I really wanted those to be hauled. Dang it. Haul urgently. So maybe there's just no storage space for them? I can't right click and make them haul them, unfortunately. Slacks swoops down to save the eggs. So. I'm going to set... I'm going to raise these to 80. Visitors from Gobonder are leaving. That was just you, wasn't it, Marta? You, I think you're the one that got us in trouble. You're the delegation they were probably looking for. So keep we'll keep this fairly warm. Let's see, 83, 97. I may have to put vents into each of these rooms. I'll have to keep my eye on that. This... I don't want these things drawing a lot of extra power. 80 degrees should be fine, honestly. Major break. Not surprised. You know what? I'll keep this 70. Because we're going to have this room be a little bit cooler. And if the freezer ever gets freaking dug out. Uh, Yoko. We're actually pretty good at mining. Bump that up. I really wish I could just kick him out at this point. Harvest the sunflowers. I need every little bit of food that I can get right now. And you know what? Don't try to tame that. I change my mind so much. Tame it. Don't try to tame it. Tame it. Don't try to tame it. Hunt that one. Just hunt everything that we can. No taming. Not making friends here. Oh, Shigeru. Slept in the heat. Pissed in... Pissed in the woods. Yeah, get him. That cute little wild pond. 
I almost feel bad killing the thing. Emmy is exhausted. Can't aim straight. The shots just keep narrowly missing. This is one of the reasons I dislike hunting. If, if they can't aim, they'll spend all damn day chasing that thing around. And chasing whatever they're hunting anyways. Okay. Speed up time just a little bit. There's not really anything I can micromanage here. Shigeru, I, I, I fully expect him just to snap. And have to be beat up and put down. Heat stroke, Emmy. I would have to make lavish meals for him, which require a decent amount. Oh, he would eat jerky? Fine stew, waffles. You would even, you consider insect a jelly? How come, I bet you fine meal is probably buried way at the bottom of that list or something. Okay. Um, bills. Let's end that. That was an interesting flash of light. Okay, electric stove. Cook. Lobby schmills require meat and nutrition. That would be two meat, two nutrition for four masterpiece culinary meals. You know what? I'm going to try it. Do it until I have... I want 50... Unpause at 35. I'll expand the ingredient radius just a bit. No... I don't know if rotten is... It's, I'm, I assume it's bad, but I'm just going to leave it for now. And if we can't cook that, those, say we don't have the vegetables or anything, we'll cook simple meals. Until I've got 50 of those. Shorten that a little bit. Okay. Now the trick is, who is my primary cook? Carrot, you're going to be... I want you cooking all the time now. Cooking or growing or plant cutting. I need somebody who is constantly making food and dealing with food here. Slacks, how is your infection coming along? Okay, well, I, I can't afford to lose him, so go preach health to Slaxer. It's too close, It's and, and it's remained too close this entire time. 61.8 versus 63. It's been within 1% pretty much the entire time, I think. Shigeru comes up. Everyone's chatting with Slacks as he's wounded in there. Just bullshitting and passing the time as the rain comes down. You all would be happier inside. Here, we'll take this party spot, reinstall it in there. Are there any events that we can do? I don't really want colonists to gather. At least not outside. They, yeah, you can gather in here. Out of the rain. Courier named Zellian has arrived. Do try to keep her alive. Stoner, Brawler, Ascetic. Comes with the Revolver Musket, Mega Sloth, Wool Courier Hat. I'm starting to think the Couriers are all just stoners. 
Get your break risk. Emmy. Eight raw food. Yeah, the raw, the whole raw food thing is just gonna fuck with people. What are you doing, carrot? No. Can't cook anything right now. I'm guessing. Insect meat. So. Do I need to change the settings on that? Excuse me, chunks. So yeah, insect meat is fine here. No insect cheese, insect jelly. Do it on this one too. I don't think I had that set up obviously on the campfire. Insect cheese, insect jelly. And really, you can avoid sleep, prioritize cooking at the stove. Carrot, you don't seem to be any, in any danger of having a breakdown too much. Rebuffed by Morris. Well, Morris is dead now, so... Don't really have to worry about that. Oh god, we gotta take the food all the way over there. I'm guessing I don't have uh, refrigerators unlocked yet. Which would be nice. Zone. You know, I do have... We Nutrient paste is also fine, too. Inspired cooking. Machine that synthesizes edible nutrient paste from organic... Well, goodbye, insect meat. I wasted you. Consumes less ingredients and time. Nobody likes eating nutrient paste. Wrong. Oh my god, that thing is so massive. Nobody likes eating it. Accepts raw food, but not rough plant matter like hay. Well, maybe I'm not going to build that just yet. Uh, what I will build, and this is such a terrible way to do it. I'm, I probably have some type of cooling unit that I could use, but stone shelf... I don't think so. Where is storage? There it is. And then what I'll do is I'll turn these three into places where they'll store food. Lavish. Simple. And then I don't know. Slaxer will cook twice as fast for the next eight days. Wants to cook at least 50 meals. A new quest has shown up. Mastica Dusicurus, an infantry medic, is calling from nearby. She has deserted the army of the Fallen Empire and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. She wishes to join us. She knows the location of key outposts containing everything needed to develop psychic powers. Uh, we'll become an enemy of the Fallen Empire and one troop will immediately attack. I am not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna make myself an enemy of the Empire... As much as I would like to have another colonist right now, no. No, thank you. I will pass on that. Shigeru is unhappy. He's decided to leave without paying. That's fine. Now do me a little bit of favor. What are you... Are you... In extreme infection. Okay, immunity is 99 and climbing. I was worried there. If, I, if they died and we had to go back down to three colonists, man. I feel like, did we make any progress at all in the last 12 videos? Not really. That's right. Get this place set up. You know what? I guess that means now I don't have to worry about the lavish mills. The lavish mills. However you want to pronounce it. Run a little bit low on components. Um, I'm half tempted now that we have all this space. Half tempted to turn these into some type of restroom. So I could turn two of these rooms, put. Maybe I could squeeze two toilets in. 
I'm not sure. I'd have to maybe knock out a wall or something. Knock out three walls. Turn this little corner here into a shower and toilet room. It would be a gigantic step up from the water basins and hole in the ground we've got. Compacted machinery. Yay. I'm going to need more components anyway soon. Since I wasted like... What, 17 of them on air conditioners? That are effective. Major break risk. Yoko. Is there anything I can do for you, Yoko? I'm sure you hate being underground, huh? Hideous environment because of all the rocks and dirt. Ate cooked insect meat. They don't feel the same way we do. Led by subject. I don't like having a subject as a leader. Such a noble weapon. Hmm. Yoko's in a daze because of the hideous environment. I swear. Uh, let me do something this expand the zone can i expand the zone over here so that it it's its own zone with the same settings nope i can copy these ones and paste them copy that paste that don't put the simple mill there uh, Yoko, I wish I could get you to do this. Missing lumber. That's right, because now I don't really have anyone to craft. Holy crap, it's always something. Uh, Carrot, what are you doing? Cutting down these damn oak trees and gardening. Okay, I'm not going to adjust anything. I can be patient. We'll get all this set up. Maybe he can take care of his other garden too. Somebody else might go craft some boards. I tend to get very impatient sometimes when I want something done. I'm like, oh, let's readjust everything else I'm doing just to get this done right now. There's nothing really bad out there. Oh God. Maybe I spoke too soon. Um, I'd completely forgotten about the Feralisk. It has a ton of little babies out there. Feralisk. Mm -hmm. Someone once thought that creating supersized spiders for synth thread web production was a good idea. Their home planet's now reduced to a marble world. A world completely purged by atomic fire. Feralisks attack by throwing spider webs at their prey. These huge webs stun anyone they touch. Yep. Not good things. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do about this. There's a lot of them up there. It did warn me that they could be a problem. Oh my god, there's a bunch over there too. Oh, there's the dead one. Uh, can we haul this urgently? Haul that urgently? That's a lot of meat. I'm gonna have to do something about that. This is where it would be useful for me to have one of those incendiary flamethrowers. Maybe I could just go over there and burn the forest down around them. Get them caught up in it. There's one over here. What are you doing? Where are you going? You seem like you're moving with a purpose. Straight towards our base. What are you doing? I might need a shrink. Have a single pawn spend 24 hours in mental breaks. I could spawn any of these things, but I want man in black. Because that is a guaranteed colonist. Okay. Uh, if this thing starts coming around the corner here, I'm going to wake people up, maybe. Here it comes. I play pretty zoomed out, so it can be hard to see sometimes. Uh, Emmy, Slaxer, and Carrot, wake up. Get out here. I think this thing is going to come try and attack my bed bugs, maybe? Where are you going? What are you doing? 
What's the button to fire whenever I want? B. I said B. Okay. Dead. Well. Thankfully, shooting that one didn't have like a psychic link and make all the other ones come charge at me. I think we could take those things out fairly easily right now. I probably should consider it. So maybe that's what I'll do next video. I'm not sure exactly how long it will take them to grow up into being egg laying death machines. Like, again, if I tried to fight that big one, that would have been... I'd have had some issues, I believe. Short-faced bear teeth. Got eaten by a short-faced bear, which is pretty damn big. Long extinct giant mammals. Brought back to life as part of the Megafauna Project. One of the largest, if not the largest, bear in history. What stands out the most about its appearance is the disproportionately short snout compared to other bears and the extraordinarily long legs it possesses. The latter makes it so hardly any prey can effectively outrun it. Moves at 5 CS. A little bit faster than most of my colonists. I'm really curious when someone's going to wake up and go get this. Spoils in 1.2 days, spoils in 14 hours. It'll probably take me another two or three in-game days to get this set up as a freezer. So I'm still going to have to build a wall in here. That way I can slap an air conditioner in it. Bring some power cables down through here. Let's get some doors set up. Even though, of course, I'm going to need more wood. Hello, autosave. Okay. Everyone's asleep. Another spider? Oh, wait, no, that's my bed bug. Okay. So, are the spiders coming down here to eat out of my garden? It's kind of bullshit if they are. In fact, that's bullshit that you're eating out of the garden. Go catch your own food, bed bugs. We don't have supplies for you. Carrot. Can I just... No, can't get you to cook. Can I get you to butcher? Nope. Can't get you to butcher either. Okay. Let's go see if Carrot's going to be jumped and attacked by these spiders as he runs past them. Nope. Feralisk is hunting Emmy for food. Okay, so it's going to go after her instead. Um, it's not good. Are you faster than them? Say so it's just one Feralisk. Slacks, what are you doing? Cooking four simple meals? So, oh. um, where'd that Feralisk go? I think it disappeared around here somewhere. There it is. Maybe it's not... No, I'm not hunting her anymore. Okay. I'm gonna say, if you want to chase us all the, all the way to the base, that's fine. I'll definitely form a line and gun that thing down. I want to say if you get bitten, that's it. I certainly don't have any way to cure poison or purge somebody's bloodstream. Sounds like glitter, tech, glitter world technology to me. Can you quit screwing around in the garden? Minor break risk. You'll be fine. Here we go. Something's moving quick. Calm down, camera. It was the wolf. Got more spiders there. Spider there. Big old bear. Something creepy looking. They're an Axodon. I guess not creepy looking. That's just kind of cute. Just a little bit. 
Okay, so I need all of these hauled. Get them out of here. Get that hauled out of here. Get the uranium hauled out of here. Get the components hauled out of here. What? Don't have storage space for uranium. I don't think that this uranium... Of course, my storage space is filled. I don't think that uranium like this is toxic... So maybe I should just store it here. Plated uranium. Maybe it just meant I was out of space. <clears throat> Honestly, this wasn't a bad day, all things considered. Everything that happened over the last two game days, this was fairly peaceful. Got some more things knocked down. Our second little garden plots are starting to grow. Pretty much our entire base is air conditioned now to some degree. Uh, Yoko is no longer wandering in a psychotic state. Congrats. If you'd have been awake earlier, why are you eating raw food when we've got simple meals here? It contains meat. Probably why. Contains insect meat, I should specify. Yoko does not believe in that, because they are basic. They don't appreciate what it means to really be living out here on the rim. Anytime I see one of these paws start running around crazy, I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Got a manhunter or something out there. Quest expired. Mm, sorry. Quest active. Investigation of the dilapidated laboratory. Which is, of course, all the way over there. Super far. Unknown threat. So if I wanted to get there... 4.9 days. Okay. I mean, I'm still not going because I don't have the ability to haul food that far. As soon as I get things just a little bit more stable and maybe a few more colonists, there's several things I can research, like canned food, that will allow me to travel almost indefinitely as long as I can carry the food. Survival meals are fairly easy to research unless things have changed. Kind of a pain to craft, but it's worth it. Okay... The unfortunate thing is I can't put a wall, uh, a light on any of these walls. Let's go ahead and bring the power down. Eventually I'll put a floor in here. Make it look nice and fancy, smooth down these walls. Probably going to end up having to dig all of this out. Compacted steel. Uranium ore, because I can't let any of that go to waste. Definitely can't let the compacted machinery go to waste. Carrot charges in, carrying some fresh, juicy insect meat. Slaps it on the grill. What are you going to mix with that delicious insect meat? Theropod meat. Lovely. Sprinkle a dash of uranium on the top of it. Just for a little bit of spice. I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. And get ready for bed for work in the morning. Uh, whenever we come back, going to continue digging this out and finish the freezer. And honestly, right now, other than the freezer and the bathroom upgrade, I don't have a whole lot of plans. We need more colonists. In my opinion, if I want to start getting anything done, especially if I want to start doing quests and adventures, I've got to have bodies to throw at the problem. Even if I have food, if I've only got four or five people, it kind of ties your hands. You can send two or three people out on an adventure, but when the game decides to spawn 30 pissed off raiders or thieves or who knows what else out there after you, uh, you can kiss them goodbye. 
Maybe they'll show up later on as slaves you can buy back or something. Either way, I will see you all tomorrow.